Hi, my name is Gerald Branham and I'm a patient of Dr. Matthew Goffman. My symptoms from diaphragm paralysis were actually a result of COVID uh, that I contracted back in February of 2021. Um, spent um, a lot of months trying to get oxygen levels up. My pulmonologist sent me off for a sniff test um, where the results of the sniff test um, showed that I had left diaphragm paralysis. It impacted greatly in that I could no longer run. Um, I could basically any exertion whatsoever would cause my oxygen levels to drop. And, um, and I was used to a very, very active life and being able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. And this condition uh, pretty well put all of that on hold. What actually led me to seek a solution um, with the, uh, the surgery option was as time went on, I was not getting any better. And my pulmonologist didn't really have a solution for me. Quite frankly, I actually went on Google and Googled marathon runner paralyzed diaphragm. And the top article that came up was Dr. Kaufman helping another patient who had run the New York City Marathon. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to use the contact us uh, page on Dr. Kaufman's website and went through a, a pretty lengthy questionnaire. And that's ultimately how I found Dr. Kaufman up in New Jersey. Here I am in the outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Upon meeting Dr. Kaufman, I definitely had a very good feeling about um, the opportunity to go through the procedure and, and was hopeful for success. After Dr. Kaufman had reviewed my medical records, he was, he was confident that, that I would be a good candidate for the surgery. The surgery for me um, was actually not really bad. Um, Dr. Kaufman actually went into my left calf and, and borrowed a nerve um, that he took and actually found where the phrenic nerve for me was crimped up in my collarbone area. And he was able to take that nerve and uh, go in through the neck and then basically kind of bypass the phrenic nerve with the new nerve and then, and then actually borrowed uh, some of the nerves from my trap muscle to kind of reconstruct a backup. Um, so the surgery went extremely well, was uh, not really it was not a bad surgery at all. I, I woke up and almost felt like I was ready to go almost immediately. So it was really um, not, not a bad surgery to recover from at all. I think for me, the biggest challenge during my recovery uh, was simply patience. Um, I'm not a very, a very patient person. My wife was encouraging me to, and Dr. Kaufman was encouraging me to not be too aggressive. Um, but being a runner, it's just generally not in my DNA. So a, a big key to that though, has been, I followed the doctor's orders throughout the entire process. And, and so even when I needed to just walk because I, I couldn't run, I made sure that I stayed active the entire time. Um, and I feel like that helped me, uh, recover probably faster uh, than some because I, I really made sure that I followed the doctor's orders. My surgery was actually at the end of May uh, of this year. So I'm right upon um, six months. So in July, uh, 1st of July, was able to start running again and immediately um, recognized that something definitely was going on in a positive direction for me. I ran 12 miles last weekend. So I went from not able to run two miles to now back to running 12 miles. And I'm scheduled to run my first half marathon, the St. Jude in Memphis uh, in a month from now. And zero doubt that, that I will complete that race running um, due to this incredible surgery for me. I think the advice that I would give to anyone considering this surgery is quite frankly, you have to be your own advocate. With that, I mean that I had, a, I had at least one doctor advise actually against the surgery. Um, I had two of my other doctors 
um, look at the surgery and say, you know, doesn't the risk of the surgery itself isn't real great. So I think it's worth a shot. Um, you have to, you have to kind of push and um, go after that knowledge and find those solutions that work for you. And if you get, you know, if you get one door closed in your face, try, try another door. You have to keep going and not taking no for an answer 